A new stadium to benefit all of York. That's what representatives from York City, York Knights and the City Council want to see built by 2019. The new 8,000 seat arena will see a ground share between York's two biggest sports teams and will create around 200 new jobs. The plans include a new community hub, which will allow the clubs to grow their community programs and allow them to offer training and employment to young people in the city. And both clubs are pleased now that things seem to be getting underway. Yeah, we're excited. It's moving a step forward. Um, we've, you know, since we took over in December, we were looking at the stadium and how it formed part of our long-term and medium-term growth, and I'm really pleased six, seven months on to, to have some confirmation that we're moving forward after what's been a difficult period for everybody. A facility like that, fit for purpose, um, allows us to encourage more people to spend their hard-earned entertainment money uh, in in York with us. Uh, if that happens, that's more money into the club and that, you know, is to be invested in growing the club and quite often that investment happens on the field and we put better players on the field and, uh, and we progress up the ranks. We've got a name within three years to be in the championship and be, you know, have a sustainable financial model and this is a step towards those, you know, key objectives that we have. We're absolutely delighted. We've had years and years of frustration and hard work and effort and all sorts of things. So. Finally, it's going to happen, and that's what the fans want to see. I, th I don't think the fans will believe this till they see steelwork coming out the ground, diggers on the site. Uh, that's now going to happen. Delighted for them and delighted for ourselves. Uh, a Bootham Crescent costs an awful lot to run. It's an old stadium, lots of repairs, poor facilities, but it has no. We have no ability to earn extra income other than gate money. Into a new stadium, if nothing else, it will attract more. more. Supporters, families, it's all seater, great facilities, have a meal there, have whatever you need there for the match. That would be great in its own right, but it equally have the opportunity to create additional income that we just can't get today. And York City, over the last few years, uh, has expanded tremendously out into the community. We have a great community uh, service now to thousands of school children. When Jason and I were first involved, there was a handful. They went to a couple of schools, now they go to every school. Um, so a new home for us, and we've got a training ground as well up at, at Wigginton Road, which is super. A new uh, ground for us will just expand that, and, and it would be a delight to see that grow as well. It's not just about sport, though. The new build will also see new leisure facilities being built, including a swimming pool and 3G pitches, as well as retail units and a new cinema. And the council believe this will help benefit not just local sport, but the city as a whole. There's really so many different possibilities, I think. Making sure that we have solid professional sports clubs that have the base where they can achieve and perform. I'm always a big believer that they're, they're maybe kind of the pinnacle that people aspire to, but that drives all the other level of activity that we see. So one of my roles as an executive member is to make sure people are fit and active and having those strong professional sports clubs driving underneath that, the sort of amateur structures. So from that point of view, really important. I think transforming the way our NHS services are provided, so the, the work that we're doing with the hospital trust in terms of delivering some of their outpatient services, where, for example, I've had knee surgery myself and, and going to the, the bowels of the hospital to do physio isn't, isn't the best place. Having state-of-the-art type physio things at the community stadium, surrounded by that, that sort of environment, will be a, a huge benefit to people. And I say we've got things like the IMAX cinema, which will become a regional destination, hopefully bringing people from all around the county to come on that, who will also come and, and spend more time in York and obviously reviving our leisure facilities, so we'll have a brand new swimming pool, all of which has been delivered at, at revenue savings to the council on an annual basis. The building of the community stadium has been a hot topic at York City Council since 2003, when the plans for the new stadium were first suggested. It's been a long wait since then though, with a number of factors causing delays, including a judicial challenge by View Cinemas, and the main building contractor charged with constructing the stadium dropping out at Christmas last year. Finally though, things do seem to be coming together and there's a growing sense of optimism here that this long sporting saga may finally be over. Elliot Gray, that's TV.